I'm Susan Story and I'm a job creator. You know, my story actually is a perfect example of the American dream. Uh, my mom and dad um, both came from very um, poor means. My dad was uh, in an alcoholic home and was on the streets at 14. My mom was ninth, uh, the ninth and the youngest of a dirt poor farmer in rural Alabama. And they always believed in this great country and that people could do whatever they wanted to do. Even though my mom or dad or either one of their families, anyone from their families had ever gone to college, it was never a question that my brother and I would go to school. We went on scholarships, we both worked our way through school, um, and, and I wouldn't change that for anything because it made me appreciate everything that I was able to enjoy, everything that I was able to accomplish and achieve. So. I also was very fortunate that I had a ninth grade teacher who was the co a coach and he taught algebra and calculus and he gave me a love, besides my dad who also did this, a love for math and science. So I also decided that I was going to be an engineer. There were very few women engineers at the time and it made me stronger because I just felt like I needed to prove something. So I went through, got an engineering degree, had several job offers and decided that nuclear power sounded so cool. So I started working for Southern Company in Alabama Power uh, at a nuclear plant, Barley Nuclear Plant in Alabama. And that was a great choice. From there, I've had just the most incredible career at Southern Company over 29 and a half years, almost 30 years, doing things as disparate as an engineer at a power plant, director of human resources, vice president of corporate services. I've been head of our engineering and construction services group. I've been a president and CEO of one of our operating subsidiaries in Florida, and now president and CEO of SES. So when people say, why did you choose of all the things you could have done the utility industry? Number one, it was intellectually challenging, and I, I love the idea of nuclear power. But the second thing is, I would tell every young person, if you can't believe in the company you're working for, if you can't believe in what you do and how you do it, go find something else. We spend too much of our time working at a place that if we're not invested and believe in it wholeheartedly, we shouldn't do it. So I feel amazingly blessed that I have been able to be in a company and work my way to the position I am now, while at the same time feeling so strongly that I've been part of a team that's done extraordinary things for the citizens and the customers that we serve. And at the end of the day, that's what makes me smile.